Welcome back for another week of Church Together. All month long, we are looking at the days of creation. We are going all the way back to the beginning of the Bible, to the beginning of time, in fact, to look at everything that God made. So boys and girls, let me ask you an important question. Who made everything? God made everything. That's right, my friends. God made everything everything. Did you say the whole sentence with me? We're going to do it one more time. And if you just shouted God, that's awesome. But this time I want you to say God made everything. Are you ready? Who made everything? God made everything. Friends, did he make just a couple of the things? No. Did he make just like three or four or five of the things? No. Friends, who made everything? God made everything. That's right, boys and girls. And God saw everything that he had made and it was very good. Will you say that memory verse with me? Let's start from the beginning with God. Here we go. God saw everything he had made and it was very good. Genesis 1.30 one. Nice job, boys and girls. Um, I'm going to give you a little bit of a hint about what's coming next. Can you make a fish face? Good. Nice fish faces, everybody. This time, I wonder, do you think we can say our memory verse and also make fish faces? 
I'm not sure if we can, but I'm gonna give it a try and I want you to try it with me. Or maybe we just have to do fish faces in between. Let's see what happens. Are you ready? All right, fish face is on. Here we go. God saw everything he had made. Do a few bubbles with me. And it was very good. I can't even do that anymore, boys and girls. Hold your Bibles up and say it with me. Genesis 1:31. Well, friends, did you guess yet what's coming next? Let's go all the way back to the beginning and let's reveal. In the beginning, there was something or nothing. Nothing. In the beginning, there was nothing, but God had a great big plan. And he said, let there be light. And there was light. And God separated the light from the darkness. And it was good. Then on day two, God created the skies above and the waters below. And it was good. Then we learned last week on day three that God created the land and the plants and the seas. And they were good. Then on day four, God created the sun and the moon and the stars, and they were good. Well, today, day five, it's a big one. He's going to create a whole bunch of things, and I think you might already have a hint about one of them. Do you want to check out our True Bible story and see? Let's go find out now. Oh, oh. You know what time it is. It's time to hear a story. I just went on a fun scavenger hunt with my uncle yesterday. We looked for all different kinds of fish in the stream and birds in the trees. We had so much fun. First, we walked carefully down to the water. Then, I got to use my fishing pole. I really want to find a purple fish. Here's one fish, two fish, goldfish, pink fish but I didn't find any purple fish. After we let the fish swim away, I started to look for birds. I have to find a parrot because it has all different kinds of colors. There's a red bird. I think that blue bird is talking to me. We found so many fun birds, but no parrot. Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hello, Zoe. Who? Who? Looking for birds, are you? Hi, Ollie. Hey, you're an orange bird. And I found you. Yes, God made me orange. It's true. God made fish and birds beautiful colors, too. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Oh, hi friends. I'm Justin the Mailman. I'm trying to get all these letters delivered so I can go to the aquarium with my friends. An aquarium is a place that has huge tanks of water with all kinds of fish in them. Raise your hand if you'd like to look at fish. They're so awesome. Did you know that God made all the fish in the whole wide world? It's true. And God made all the birds too. God made everything. Here, let me show you. Let me just put the story mail in the mailbox. Okay, so we know that on day one, God made light and dark. On day two, God made sky over water. On day three, God made the land, plants, and sea. On day Four, God made the sun, moon, and stars. So, 
when did God make the fish and birds? Drum roll, please. God made fish and birds on day five. On day five, God made everything that swims in the sea. Fish and giant whales and jellyfish and octopus and clownfish. Can you show me how you swim like a fish? <laughs> Great job. You look just like fish swimming in the sea. Then God made birds, eagles and bluebirds and sparrows and parrots and flamingos. God made birds to fly above the land. Birds are amazing with their wonderful colors and shapes and wings, all different, but all so special. Can you pretend to fly like a bird? Wow, what beautiful birds you are. God made the fish and the birds on day five. When God saw what he had made, God said, that's good. Everyone say that's good with me. That's good. Okay, so let's remember all the things God made that we know so far. On day one, God made light and dark. On day two, God made sky over water. On day three, God made land, plants, and sea. On day four, God made the sun, moon, and stars. On day five, God made fish and birds. Do you think we can do that faster? Let's all say the things God made. Ready? Go. Day one, light and dark. Day two, sky over water. Day three, land, plants, and sea. Day four, sun, moon, and stars. Day five, fish and birds. <sighs> Great job. But God wasn't finished yet because God made everything. Oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who made everything? God made everything. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who made everything? God made everything. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Bye. So there's your story. And it's all true. God made each bird in the sky. And God made every fish in the sea, too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. God made every bird that flies in the sky and every fish that swims in the water. God made everything. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good. I think I just heard a bird outside. Maybe it's a parrot. I'm going to go look. I'll see you later. Boys and girls, did you hear that? On day five, God created all of the swimming fish of the seas and all of the birds that fly in the air. What an exciting day of creation. And he looked at all of those fish and he looked at all of the birds and he said, you're good. And they were good because God made them. Boys and girls, who made everything? God made everything. That's right, friends. Will you pray with me? Let's fold our hands, bow our heads, close our eyes, and you can repeat after me. Dear God, thank you for everything that you made. Thank you for the fish. And thank you for the birds. You are so good. Amen. Amen, boys and girls. Wow, we've been through days one, two, three, four, and five. And next week is the most exciting week of all. So make sure you come back for it, okay? I'll see you then, boys and girls. I love you, bye.
everything I can see. I believe God made everything you and me. I believe God made awesome. He made it awesome. Trees.